that are out said. Hi Jizu, this is Laura and John again. Uh, we've been out and about today uh, because a tale came to our notice which involved a chap called Arthur Griffin. And it seems to be the head of a very, very sophisticated gang of crooks. Uh, he's related to Bow Street in as much as just across from this building there's a, a short dead end street known as Roscoe Place. And Arthur Griffin and his scallywags were ensconced in a basement underneath what would uh, at the moment be virtually rapid hardware store in that, in that area anyway. Uh, they had the place rigged out like a palace, they had their uh, sumptuous furniture, uh, bottles of wine, crates of beer, and, uh, and virtually, furniture he, from Louis the... Well, exactly, Louis the uh, yeah, French, uh, French star. Yeah, and also, a member of the group, a member of the gang, was a well-known police constable, so he had, his, uh, he had his head screwed on. But uh, <laughs> he did eventually come unstuck. The way he come, became unstuck was uh, just through chance. Two other crooks who were, uh, and by the way, this was in the 1880s, 1890s. Two of the crooks had decided to dig their way through from a store on Renshaw Street into the bank on the corner, which meant that they also bas bypassed their Arthur Griffin's little hideout. Yeah. So Arthur and his mates became worried and they contemplated different uh, ways of meeting this, uh, this threat. They said, she would kill them. So we wait until they break into the, into the bank and take the goods off them. Uh, eventually they decided that would be too much to cause too much uh, concern and possibly uncover their, their, their lair. They decided to evacuate. So they, they left the lair. The two crooks were caught. The police investigated. They found the, uh, Arthur Griffin's lair. But Arthur Griffin scuppered and he went to live uh, somewhere on the outskirts of Liverpool Egbert or somewhere like that where he eventually died under stra very strange circumstances, but that's a tale for another day. Well, while we were investigating this case, we also <coughs> did a trip down what's known as Bach Bowl Street, which is an alleyway which runs the whole length of Bowl Street from, the from Renshaw Street down. The top part of Renshaw Street is closed, which uh, stopped us from investigating where the secret entrance to Arthur Griffin's hideaway may have been. But then we followed down Bach Bowl Street, and on the left hand side you have all the backs of the shops and on the right hand side you have this very very old sandstone wall built in the must have been in the middle 1800s mm. 1850 1860 something like that and the reason we went down because Laura discovered or she'd been informed that there was a lot of names uh, we call it graffiti today but there was a lot of names chiseled into the wall and that's, that's as, it, uh, as it turned out we went down we stood them we, we studied them, we found them to be mesmerising. We photographed a lot of them, we'll incorporate it into our projects. And we're thinking of doing some rubbings, aren't and, we, when uh, the weather's better? Exactly, when, when the weather's a bit better, it was a bit of drizzle at the time. We're going to take some paper, some charcoal, and we'll get some rubbings of these, uh, these initials. But on top of that, the, just the wall itself was fascinating. It gives you an insight of what kind, what, what they had on their hands. But mm. what bricklayers in those days must have been very strong people. I know. Somebody, <laughs> I wouldn't have liked it being a hog carrier. Because <laughs> some, of, some of the sandstone blocks were about half a ton. Yeah. But it is a fascinating insight. Everything about the alleyway, the, 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 the floor itself was composed of York stone, York stone channels, York Slaps, stone flags, yeah. fittings everywhere from the old days. It's, it's nostalgia uh, and, and an entry sort of thing. Mm -hmm. well, we had an enjoyable after, afternoon and we're looking forward very much to following this through.